Hello, this is Bishop Paul S. Morton, and you're watching Gospel Goodies TV. Gospel Goodies. Gospel Goodies. This is Gospel Goodies. New Orleans is just a special place, and I believe that that's why people really like the culture of New Orleans. It has its own character. You know how people have their own character, personalities. That's the way it is with New Orleans. That's why it was so devastating for us when it was 80% underwater uh, in Hurricane Katrina. Uh, but I thank God we were restored, and that's why I really wanted to do Legacy Live in New Orleans because it was such a special place that really launched my successful career. I uh, started pastoring there in 1975, and I'm telling you, it has been a great, great journey. Did my first project there in New Orleans, my singing project, and my last singing solo project. My God, I'm excited about it because it was in New Orleans, Legacy live in New Orleans. You know, I am not just going to stop singing. I just believe that's, you know, God gave me that gift. I want to continue to use that. But I want to help some young artists and so I'll be able to do a song, just one song with them on their project. So people will still hear me. They will still hear me, but doing 12 and 13 songs at my age. Oh. Uh, but I, you know, I'm just, I'm just so pumped up about this because Legacy, as I said, is about how you want to be remembered. And so I really wanted to go out strong. Some people don't know when to stop. I'm just not a gambler. I never was a gambler, so I don't want to wake up one morning, voice gone, and say, oh, i got to do one more project, and I don't have the voice to do it. Uh, so I wanted to make sure, hey, I know where I am now and how God is blessing me now, so that's why I knew it was the right time after 40 years of, of singing professionally. I wanted to bring the legends of gospel together, the gospel artists, the legends like Pastor Shirley Seaton, like Bishop uh, Rance Allen. I wanted to bring them together with the 21st century gospel artists like Tasha Cobb, like Lisa Knowles, like Sicardi Cortez. Uh, it was amazing and my son, you know, the relationship that I have with my son has been amazing and, and he always encourages me, you know, it's my son, so he tell me, Daddy, you still sing like you're young. Hey, that makes me feel good. Uh, so uh, we've always had that kind of relationship. So even connections that he had, even with me, with the young people, it's just been a great, great journey. And so we wanted to bring for the last one, just bring both together, bridge the gap to say, hey, I can be right in the middle with the legends, right in the middle with the 21st century artists, and nobody complained about it. They said, they all said we enjoyed it. On my last projects, I would focus mainly in, in certain areas, but this one, I wanted to make sure that I got something for everybody, the traditional songs, I mean, the good old church songs, they're on there. The contemporary songs, they're on there. And then I love praise and worship, getting into the presence of the Lord, because I see so many people of God now, they know that that's what it takes, getting into the presence of the Lord. So I wanted to make sure that there was something on there for everybody. Uh, it's going to be hard. If you love gospel music to say there's no song on this project for me, there's something on there for everybody. In fact, I think people are crossing over and say, I like that one too, I like that one too, I like that one too. I believe in taking care of my body because I use uh, my voice a lot in using my voice, uh, even in my preaching or in my singing, I just don't want to stop and say, yo, wait a minute, let me catch my breath. So, uh, you know, I try to prepare myself for anything that I'm doing, and I believe in taking care of my body because I was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2006. God spared me. This is 2016. I'm still cancer-free. The least thing I can do, because I know so many of my friends have passed on with cancer, if God spared my life, the least thing I can do is take care of this body that he allowed me to keep on this earth for a little while longer. So that's why I believe it has to be spirit, got to be the spirit, got to be the mind, develop the mind, but also make sure you develop the body. And I think that's what happens so many times in the church. We get on the young people, you're on drugs, that's the devil, you got to get off drugs. But they hooked on ice cream. They saved <laughs> sanctified filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> you got to get off ice cream too. <laughs> so you, you got to balance it all out. <laughs>